Hi there! If you're watching this video, it means that you're enrolled in English 104 Summer Section with myself, Dr. Brianna Mock. And I am so happy that you're here. The first thing I need to tell you about this course is that it's the second in a series of writing program courses. English 104 will teach you the skills of research, synthesis, and academic writing. Next, this is an online only class, so we will not be meeting face to face. Instead, you'll have to log into Canvas every week to complete podcasts, videos, readings. Each week there will be a practice, a discussion board, and every other week you'll be submitting an assignment. All of that can be found on the course schedule, which is under our course materials tab in Canvas. The great thing about this course is that you do not need to spend money on a textbook. Thanks to the Ball State University Writing Program, our textbook is online and it's called Ballpoint. I've provided the link for Ballpoint on our course module on Canvas and the password is chirp104. Chirp 104 like English 104. In this class, you'll be completing four major assignments worth 50 points each, and these will be the main part of your grade for English 104. Assignment number one will be an article analysis, where you'll practice finding research, reading it, and responding to its rhetorical appeals. The second assignment will be a synthesis essay, where you practice bringing multiple research articles together to support your own argument. Assignment number three will be an annotated bibliography, which is essentially a collection of research that you take notes on in preparation for assignment number four, which is your final researched essay. The requirements for assignment four come straight from the writing program. The writing program tells us we need to write an eight to 10 page argumentative essay with 15 sources. Now, I don't want you to panic about this though because by the time you make it through the whole 10 weeks of the summer section, you will be more than prepared to succeed in the final. In addition to your four major assignments, we'll be completing eight smaller practices, and these practices will help you build the skills you need to get the most points out of your major assignments. You might be wondering how an online course has an attendance policy since we don't meet face to face. This is why it is imperative that you log on to Canvas often, at least twice a week, to see what assignments and readings you have to complete and then to submit your practices, discussion boards, and assignments. Your participation is how I will determine your attendance. To get started in week one of our online course, visit week one first module where you'll find readings to review English 103 concepts, your very first practice on logos, ethos, and pathos, and directions for your first assignment. Another important part of that first module is called a new student survey. Please click the link to the survey. It will take you to Qualtrics and then fill out some information that I can use to help tailor the class to your needs. Included in the Qualtrics survey are questions about how you would like to communicate with me. This is one of the most important parts of my teaching. It's very important to me that we communicate often, and especially if you have questions or concerns about the work we're doing in class. So please indicate on the Qualtrics survey how you would like to communicate, whether that be through Canvas, through email, Twitter, Google Hangout, or Skype. Even though this is an online course, it's very important to me to create a sense of rapport, just like we would have in an face-to-face -face classroom environment. I really look forward to spending part of my summer with you, and I look forward even more to seeing your research and writing skills blossom.